guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica. I'm the Furry Family Coach. Thank you so much for being here. In this video, we're gonna be making some cheese log treats for our dogs. So stick with me because your dogs are gonna love them. Real quick before we get into the video, if you look right down there at that subscribe button and it is red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications, that way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. Also give this video a big thumbs up. It's the best compliment you can give and I would really appreciate it. So let's get right into this video where we are making some cheese log treats for our dogs. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do, and I did this ahead of time, because when you're actually forming the logs, you want your cheese to be room temperature. So I took a brick of cheese and I shredded it myself. Don't buy pre-shredded cheese. I actually recommend don't buy pre-shredded cheese for you or your dogs or at all, because generally it has uh, cellulose in it, which is plastic. We don't wanna eat that. So buy a brick of cheese, shred it yourself, and let it set at room temperature. You're gonna want about one and three quarter cups of a cheese of your choice uh, or your dog's choice actually. Uh, so I used a mild cheddar cheese. It's a white cheddar cheese. So we're gonna start by adding that into our bowl, just like so. So now what we're gonna do is add one and a half cups of a flour of your choosing. I'm going to be using almond flour because it is a little bit healthier than um, bleached flour that we normally use. Um, in baking, so you're gonna want about one and a half cups of flour. Next, you're gonna want roughly a quarter cup of an oil of your choosing. Now, the reason I say roughly is because you're gonna kinda have to go by feel on this. It's gonna vary depending on what kind of cheese you use and what kind of flour you use. Um, but I'm going to be using olive oil because it's the healthiest oil I have in my kitchen right now. So I'm gonna add just a little bit, not quite a quarter of a cup because I wanna kind of um, work this around in my hands and see how much I need. The oil is only here so that you can form the cheese and flour mixture into logs and we wanna form two logs out of this. So let's go ahead and start just mixing with our hands and seeing if we can create a shape. If not, then we need a little bit more oil, which as you can see here, I'm gonna need a little bit more oil. So once everything starts coming together and starts kind of clumping together where you can actually form a shape out of it, uh, we're gonna form two log shapes and I'm just gonna put them on a paper plate. And once we get those uh, log shapes on the plate, we're gonna put them in the refrigerator or freezer actually would be better to chill. Um, and I say the freezer because I wanna get this done quickly for you guys. So I'm gonna form two log shapes here with my cheese mixture. And then I'm gonna try to make them like as even as possible because once they chill, we're gonna cut, slice them. We're gonna cut them and slice them which are the same things. And I just didn't know which word I wanted to say. So we're gonna slice them into rounds and then we're gonna bake them. So now my hands are messy, but I've got my two logs here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the freezer um, to get them to chill down a little bit quicker. And I'll be back with you when they're cooled down. All right, so I have had these cheese logs in the freezer for just about a little under an hour. So now what I'm gonna do is transfer them to my cutting board and I'm going to as quickly as possible cut them as thin as possible and I'm going to transfer them to my baking sheet which is already lined with parchment paper. It's gonna make clean up a lot easier. Go ahead and use the parchment paper. And my oven is preheating to 325 degrees. So we're just gonna 
cut these as thin as possible and try to handle them as little as possible. If they start falling apart, that's okay. Just kind of keep them pressed together on your parchment paper. You can also um, freeze them a little bit longer than I did, um, but it's okay. I'm just gonna put them kind of in a circular pattern on the parchment paper. All right, so I've got the first log cut and it has almost filled my baking sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the second log and put it back in the freezer. We're gonna go ahead and cook the first log um, at 325 degrees for roughly about 15 minutes until they're golden brown. That's what you're looking for. So we're gonna keep an eye on them until they're golden brown. We'll pull them out of the oven, let them cool off, and then let Kim give them a try. All right guys, I've just pulled these out of the oven so they are going to cool down. They smell really good actually. They smell very cheesy, but they, they smell like something I would eat. So <laughs> be careful. And there's nothing in them that you couldn't eat. You could try them, of course. Um, so all we're gonna do now is let them cool down and we'll see how Kim likes them. She loves cheese, so I'm sure she's gonna love these. Uh, these are gonna be okay to sit in your fridge for probably three to five days. Um, I wouldn't really recommend any longer than that. So if you wanna do just one cheese roll at a time, bake it, keep the other cheese roll wrapped up in your freezer and then when you're done with these, um, you can go ahead and bake that one. I think that would be a really good game plan. Uh, so we're gonna let these cool down, let Kim try them. I'm gonna package them up and keep them in the fridge for just a few days. I think she's really gonna love these. What I would love to know is how much your dogs love them. So make sure to post in the comments below and let me know what you think of this video. Let me know um, how much your dog loves cheese and if your dog likes this recipe. Uh, also, go ahead and check the description below for a link to the group. Join the family. There are thousands of other pet parents already there and waiting for you to join. I would love for you to share pictures and videos of your dogs, especially make this recipe and let me see how much your dogs just, I mean, really love these treats. I would love to see that in a picture or a video. So join the group so you can share that. I would love to have you there. And again, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to post them below. If you have any requests, for something that you wanna see me make um, and try it out before you do, let me know that in the comments below as well. Uh, if you haven't already, look right down there at that subscribe button. If it is red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications, that way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. And as always, please give this video a thumbs up. It's the best compliment you can give. I would really love to see that, so go ahead and do that. Also, there's gonna be another video popping up right about here. It's really gonna help build that bond between you and your dog, so I recommend you checking that one out next. Thank you so much for being here with me today, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.